it more of like a, a love of music, if you will. And when I got a little older, like around like 16, 17 is when I felt really passionate about making it. And I just didn't really have anyone that like I, I could make it with. It wasn't until, yeah, I started hanging out with like Brandon and Chile specifically and like Think Tank was formed that I was really starting to put like really meaningful experiences behind like what I was learning. It was very easy for me to just like be in my room with some crack software and like, does this mean anything? Who knows? But <laughs> when you're in a room with like, you know, people that you love and you've been with through such like, you know, intense times and they've seen you change. Uh, it, it, yeah, it really just taught me so much about making that. And I think even now, like when I'm making my own things, I reflect on those experiences that like really were so formative of like why I love what I do. So yeah. I think that like overall, it was uh, always something I was very interested in, but I maybe didn't always believe that I could do it myself until I had my friends with me. You know? No. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That's like, really well, nice. Very wholesome. I like that. Heck yeah, that's yeah. how we do. It. It's very, <laughs> it still didn't really mean anything. Like it was still ridiculous. Like I listen back to it sometimes, and I'm like, yeah, like you need help. This is insane. <laughs> yeah. You know. And thankfully, I still have friends that, like, I'd send that stuff to, and they'd be like, girl, it's amazing. Oh, my God. Da, 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 da. Um, so that, yeah, I feel like when I came back and had those experiences, I was trying to pull, like, Chile into it more. I was trying to pull Brandon into it more because they were, they were interested, but we maybe didn't have, like, well, like, what does a band look like or what have you? Uh, Chile, for example, had been in bands in high school, and that was the way that we had met is that I went to a walkout show, and like a cousin of mine, I guess, or I think we're just both Chilean class. <laughs> um, he was there and I'm like, oh my God. And then he introduced me to Chile that night. And it was like, yeah, like I think about that a lot of like his experiences in those bands and like how, you know, Think Tank is very much like an electronic act. And we really like to lean into the, the aspect that like, I don't want, I'm like hesitant to say that like we're not a band because we obviously are, but it's more so the aesthetics that like, oh, like sometimes it doesn't click immediately and I don't mind that. That's like something that I feel like I've always wanted to see in the scene and growing up as a kid, I never really saw it. So it's like kind of that we could fill that space like as a group, it was really meaningful to me. And so, sorry, you asked when like we had started. <laughs> yeah. I think that was like, I'm trying to think, of, I think it was like the early, or sorry, like late 2019 or 2018. Okay. I might be confusing it, but we we lived it. We lived in this house like shortly after I moved back from Montreal, and like sometimes I walk by that house and it like makes me think of like those first times. Like we wrote the first Think Tank uh, record there, mm -hmm. and like yeah, like yeah, I don't know. It's, it doesn't feel real. So I have dreams <laughs> about being in that house a lot of the time. And that's like cool. that's when it started, though. That's really when it was like we hang out, we make music. And there was just a SoundCloud page actually, like mm -hmm. called Think Tank. It was, we were really even sure if like we were a band or we were a group or what have you, but we just posted our music there. It was like the, the place that we could and like, we knew each other were listening to it. It was like, oh my God, did you hear Chile put on their Think Tank page today? <laughs> like, yeah, that stuff was uh, just really exciting. Like, it, like I said, it was sometimes hard to be excited about stuff where it's like, oh, I actually really got to work at this. Like it's mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. not as easy as I thought it was, you know, yeah. so. yeah. Yeah, that was a great answer. Yeah, <laughs> very yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. we love yeah. when like people like actually like elaborate on totally. it. Totally, you know? don't it's, worry, like, y'all got the right guy. <laughs> <for sure. laughs> Professional yapper. I mean, like that's me too. But yeah, I just like, you know, it's because it's so easy to be like, oh, I don't know. Like, it's just something I like, you know, or have always totally. liked. And it's just like, no, tell me everything. <laughs> totally. It's so interesting to listen to it too. It's so fun. Yes. Yeah, yeah exactly. And everyone's so different, you know. Oh, Most yeah. definitely. Yeah. How people find their ways to mm -hmm. those artistic practices for sure. For sure. Exactly. Cool. Um, um, so. How about one more question and then we'll get to some tunes. Some, some tunes. tunes. Perfect. Um, yeah, do you want to? Um, I'm recording oh. on my phone right okay. now. Okay. Yeah, we're recording as well, so if you want to listen yeah, to I it forgot my camera outside the radio, on my phone, so. stay tuned. Um, <laughs> so how would you describe the music you make? And you can be as creative, elaborate, you don't have to fit in any box, you can just be like... So in the sense of like Think Tank, um, it is like really based in like reclaiming spaces that you felt like small or like hopeless to some sense and like understanding that that power is there. I feel like we talk a lot about like really hard things in the music and if it wasn't filled with a room of like people I love so dearly that I know that we're all dealing with these things I don't think I'd be able to say those things to mm -hmm. be honest whereas like my own personal music is monk 
it's a little bit more of like i just want to be like girly and stuff like that <laughs> like i'm like it doesn't have to be that serious you know i think like lately i've been maybe reflecting on the monk music um and thinking like how can i maybe have a little bit more power asserted with it or like that like grit that think tank has um and yeah no i really think that like ultimately it really is just about reclaiming those narratives that like you don't really have control over how people look at you versus like what you have to say about yourself and mm -hmm. yeah i think like whether it's monk or think tank that is a pretty relative piece of it awesome cool. yeah good i, like cool. that. I also like that <laughs> i have been really good answers Slay. That's a great answer. Slay. Slay. <laughs> yes yeah all right so for those listening if you don't know what we usually do, i'm sab i'm ari and we're in the studio with Monk, aka Gabby. Hello. Oh my again. God. Hey. Wow. <laughs> oh um, we didn't um, say the last song before the break, but that was called Thick by Shy Girl and Kosha. I have to say it like Thick. That was a different count. Yeah. Um, <laughs> thick cubed. Yeah. So we're going back with our interview and our questions. Yeah. Um, so who are some of your musical influences? Um, I would say Sophie, rest in peace, um, Arca, 454, um, Blade, because I have a crush on him, um, <laughs> yeah, like, I, I feel like, honestly, um, Britney Spears is a huge influence for this last record as well, just, like, really good, like, dance music, really good, like, that? pop music, <laughs> You know, I don't know, I can remember, like, listening to so much pop music in, like, my mom's Volvo, and we go in to get, like, groceries, and I'm, like, five, and I'm, like, this song's amazing. This song is, like, <laughs> literally the key to life. How is it, you know, it's, like, Paparazzi by Lady Gaga. Oh, and, I love it. You know, so I feel like there is that dimension, and, like, I would say, like, um, other trans women have really exemplified, like, what pop music can be in that sense, like, Arca and Sophie, specifically. I would say they were, like, huge influences, especially when I was even just coming into, like, my own femininity to like understand the people that I felt so close to creatively also took this like piece of identity that I was finding for myself. It was like, yeah, I would say like, inf influential is almost like like downplaying it in a way. It really meant so much to me. So I would say those are strong influences though. Nice, love that. Cool. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. Um, so can you tell us more about um, your tour with Think Tank that's coming up? Oh yeah, so Think Tank is hitting the road with a great friend of ours, Kits Wilman, and yeah, we're like in the East Coast. We've got shows in like what Toronto, Montreal, Winnipeg. Um, I should be looking at my phone. I can't remember all the <laughs> days off the top of my head, but we went on tour last spring with Kirk, and it was a ton of fun. Our acts fit like seamlessly next to one another. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, Prairie Rap represent. It's definitely a weird thing that we got going on. So yeah, I'm super excited to hit the road. I feel like I'm gonna get to see cities that I haven't either been to in years or have never seen. And that's like always such an exciting experience. Um, as a kid, the only time I traveled is when I played sports. And I kind of hated that. So it's like nice to have like new experiences with like, yeah, people that I love, the interests that bring us there. Yeah, like even like the trip up to Saskatoon was like, I was like, oh, cool, you know, I could be doing anything. Um, but thankfully, I have like these cool experiences. So, yeah, tour is going to be a freaking blast. I'm so excited. Yeah. Sounds great. Um, we went to your show here at the exchange you yep. did with, uh, sorry, Kits, what's his? Kits Wilman. Kits yep. Wilman. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm bad with names. So no worries, you. no worries. But though. that was a great show. We had such a good time, so I'm excited for you guys to take that. I recorded it on my camcorder and got the day wrong. So. Slay, <laughs> slay. No, that's, we're all about that. Oh, that was great. Yeah. No, it was totally fun. Um, yeah. Yeah. Totally. Totally. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. totally <laughs> man. Slay, slay. We're slay. Yeah. yeah. We're staying um, with the Britney Spears theme. <laughs> yeah. So speaking of Think Tank, um, where did that name come from, Think Tank? So it was just like something that you don't really think about too much, and then you're just like, that's our band's name, right? And so like that was the, the genesis. The more I've thought about it, um, I always like push people to look up what a Think Tank is, what it does, and what it means. Think Tanks themselves are like political entities that like, yeah, lobby for like denying access to like trans healthcare, shit like that, you know, that is really insidious and nefarious, but it's only through 
like uh, lobbying donations, certain political figures being put in front of others. It is like something that does affect our lives quite intensely. And I guess specifically, yeah, yeah, like topics around like should trans women be in sports and stuff that like no one actually really cares about. It's like actually think tanks that are put together to communicate those ideas, to create and stoke anger between like working class people that like aren't actually affected by these things in any way. They don't want people to think about the opioid crisis, the housing crisis, things that are actually going on. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really interesting for us to have our morals and talk about the things that we do and call ourselves a think tank because we're the only think tank that will ever talk about the things that we do or that are very important to us. You know, there's no think tank that would be like decolonial or, you know, anti-capitalist, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I think it's like, yeah, like I said, I didn't really think about it when it first came about, but like the more and more I thought about it and the people that we are and what we exemplify in our music, it's like, I'm like, oh yeah, that's think tank, totally. That's that's a great answer. Wow. Wow, I just like to hear you talk so much. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's it's just very interesting. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm just like, wow. <laughs> I'm learning so much. If you're not um, sharing just like bomb memes, it's I, like... Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm glad that we can have that duality as well. Yeah. <laughs> For real, though. For real. Yeah. All right, what okay. is the next question? I don't know. Oh, um, well, we already talked about Ness Creek a little, but yep. how did that audition go? How did that whole process go? It was sweet. Um... I felt like, yeah, like your birthday can be like a whirlwind of like different emotions. So like in, in classic Gabby fashion, I was like maybe crying a little bit on the way up. <laughs> like, oh my God, my life is so intense and dramatic, the big screen, you know? <laughs> and I was really proud of myself because I effectively communicated to my bandmates. I was like, hey y'all, like I'm in this space right now, but if I tell y'all like, like we can be together and honestly, yeah, like the audition went incredible because it was just a reminder of a place that I feel so powerful in. I can go through all these things and maybe feel um, in disarray, but the second I had that microphone, I'm like, this is where I'm supposed to be. These are the things that mean so much to me, and these are the people I love that got me like here doing it, you know? Very cool. So I think, yeah, it was, it was really like, for me, affirming to understand that like I can go through things and simultaneously like fully commit and be present for like you know our show I was thinking of tour to be honest in the sense of like you know wow being on the road for like two weeks things can happen you know if I have a bad day you know which I mean I can be emo for sure so you know <laughs> it's nice to know though that I can like communicate to Brandon and Chalet the members of Think Tank and they can be like yeah we got you girl like don't worry so yeah it was it, it was great it was great great nice awesome. That's, I'm glad oh, I can't remember when it was it was at the cure in like february and i love the cure that's like a, a venue that i feel like i've had great relationships with just like over the past couple of years mm -hmm. chile for example ran the sound for the open mic for like years oh, and nice. so i'd always be there every monday because i lived with him and i had nowhere to be and i'd da -da 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 -da, you know and, um, <laughs> I, yeah I, I just i think of that show a lot because in the sense of just like it just seemed like all of our friends were there like yeah, it was kind of like an OMG, like WTF, TTL, TTYL, you know, all that jazz. And I just, yeah, I just kind of couldn't believe it. It's something I return to. I feel like I can't really give a like strong reason as to why it was so significant. But it was, I was also kind of like when, when we first started playing. So I think it was like, oh, wow, like we can throw shows like this. And I was kind of figuring that out. And then for like my own solo work, um, Monk, I played this festival music has the power to change the world the festival it was put on by like a few friends of mine um who are in a group called music has the power to change the world and that was their first show um yeah dear friends of mine uh like taylor nicholson his older brother cole nicholson put that together um that was sweet it was just like really i yeah i don't know i think i was just like so excited to be around yeah people i've like grown up with i Taylor's parents were there. I've known Taylor's parents like my whole life. So just to be like, yeah, and like we're here and like, you know, Taylor's in this band playing. We're, it was like a kind of just like a whole new dimension that I really appreciated exploring. So awesome. yeah. Nice. Cool. Um, what is your dream venue to play? Mm, uh, <laughs> Fabric in London. That's cool. what I named the album after. Oh, cool. Uh, like, um, it's just like this. I don't know, like this legendary club in London, and they release mixes of when people DJ there and stuff. And 
yeah, it has like a long history and my friend Jake, who's like really avid in like techno music history and like dance music, he, he was telling me about it and you know, I was like, Oh, I'm slick, I'll I'll take out idea and call it the album, you know, uh but <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like maybe one day could perform there. That would be amazing. The artist, one of the artists that we were playing before, Shy Girl, mm -hmm. she just did a huge show at Fabric. And like, mm -hmm. it was it was kind of like a big, big deal for like, oh, wow, this is like her moment. She's playing at Fabric. Crazy. Nice. So that would definitely be the one. Yeah. That's awesome. It's manifested. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so now we're going to take a break. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so, I've made the executive decision. Yes. Um, the next song we got is called... Oh, I can't read. Jealousy? Right? Jealousy? It's, it's jalouse, which is the French word for jealousy. Yeah. Oh, I took French you, for I was just going to say, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I can barely speak English, and yeah. I've taken that for 24 years. Oh, so, yeah. Wow. Um, yeah. All right. So this is my Ego 2K. Here, take a listen.